A conclusion to a notorious drunk driving case in a Little Rock courtroom. A five-time convicted drunk driver didn't show up to find out how much money she owed her victim. THV 11 Rolly Hoyt was there and tells us what the judge decided. Well, Marlisa and Craig, Sharon Shin hit Jalen Anderson with her car outside a restaurant in Jacksonville back in February of 2018. Her arrest came just two weeks after another DUI charge. Both incidents earned her prison sentences, but she's already back on the streets. Meanwhile, the crash upended Anderson's life. His lawyers hope today's civil judgment finally upends Shin's. Tucked between two run-of-the-mill debt collection cases, a man and his lawyers ask a judge for help getting his life back on track. I'm just trying to learn to live again, and uh, I get angry sometimes. It's frustrating uh, having to start over again. Jalen Anderson has been on a hard road to recovery ever since Sharon Shin ran him over 17 months earlier outside a restaurant in Jacksonville. Reports from witnesses stated that he was hit like a speed bump. Are you still in pain as you sit here today, Jalen? Criminally, Shin faced justice. Two DUI arrests, one in Cabot and then the one in Jacksonville, put her in prison for a few months. A suspended sentence hangs over her head, but Anderson's head still isn't right. He may need back surgery. The concussion led to depression. He lost his job and his fiance. The man wants to get paid for all of that. His personal injury lawyers think it can serve a higher purpose. It sends a message. That's our whole point here. Punitive damages are, um, in a sense, exemplary damages. It makes an example out of somebody that is continuously taking part in this kind of um, unlawful activity. Judge Alice Gray asked hard questions about the damage calculations. She had already ruled against Shin. Now came the question, would she deliver the message Anderson wanted? All right, the court has awarded $300,000 in compensatory damages and twice that amount in punitive damages for a total of $900,000. Anderson says he's pleased with the outcome. For today, smiles all around. Now, Anderson's attorney knows there is very little chance he ever sees that money. But he met with the local head of Mothers Against Drunk Driving while he was there. He wants to start sharing his story along with her and keep delivering these messages.